Hello and welcome back to Boring Dad Gaming, where today we're going to be playing some more Coral Island. Boring Dog's hiding behind the chimney from me, but he's still happy, so that's good. But today, today is the day. Today is the day we get a greenhouse. Uh, let's do that. Let's go and have a look at it before we do anything else, I think. Um, oh, it's bigger than I thought. It's quite nice, actually. What have we got going on inside? Okay, okay. Decent little plot. Not too bad. Uh, that's quite nice, isn't it? I guess... Oh, you can, uh, okay, you can use it to fill your water. That's nice. Um, no need for scarecrows in here, obviously. We need to sort of plot out uh, how many sprinklers I can get in here. Um, I, f I can make quite a few. Let's start off with... Six. And we'll see kind of how that does. Right, okay. It's a mm, okay, it's it's not quite I'll do the corners. And then you got some that are just gonna be double, aren't you? I mean I, I, I guess that's probably okay, but let's plant the saplings before I do that and not sort of muck it up for ourselves, because these need like a four by four plot. Oh, uh, is the ground not hoed yet? Probably not. All right, well, let's... Uh... We'll just hoe everything, I think. So I'm probably going to try and basically plant in as much as I can here. Well, I mean, that said... To be honest, that said... What I'm mainly going to plant in here is the saplings, or the seedlings, I should say. The saplings are the tree, flat, tree plants, aren't they? The tree fruits. Uh, but we'll plant the seedlings in here. And I'm going to... Otherwise, I'll be planting um, stuff that uh, uh, kind of reproduces, like, like keeps producing. Throughout, uh, throughout the year. So I've got seven. Why have I double planted one? Okay, what have we got? Hmm. What is this? Doesn't tell me for that. Do, okay, are there any that look the same? <laughs> these kind of look the same. I wonder if I've put two of these in. I probably have. You know, I will water these because there isn't that many of them. And I'll compost them too. Stuff in here will get composted because it's going to be stuff that doesn't uh, expire on harvesting. So I think that'll be good. I mean, it's a bit annoying. So I might, I mean, they might get more depending on town level, I suppose. But I'll probably buy one more to stick in that corner here. It's Sunday, so it's possible the shop's not open. Let's have a quick look. Oh, he is open from 12. Okay. Well, I won't worry too much about the sprinklers then, uh, for now. Um, I expect what we'll probably do is just try and cover all the slot with with these ones. Uh, but it's going to be springtime before I'm getting crops that, that, that will go in here. It's, at the moment, it's just going to be these guys. So, what's it? 30, going to need 32... Uh, Fertilizers should be okay. There we go. Um, great. Well, we're, uh, yeah, so. Come 12, we'll go and buy another seedling of whatever whatever kind I like the look of, I suppose. Um, let's get this going for more fertilizer as well. So 
Scrap's always good. We'll just keep it going. If I ever get low on trash, we'll just have a day in the ocean gathering it. It won't be it won't be challenging. Um, the lab should be open today as well. Uh, that's actually open now. But let's do let's get animal stuff going first. Then we'll go up to the lab. Should have our second coop open today. I mean, I could get a peahen. Just feels maybe a bit sad to uh, just have the one. It's going to annoy me that being a bit more set back. What I might do is use the uh, the giants just to bring the barn and that forward a little bit. And just have the wall going all the way across. Again, it costs money and I am trying to save up for an extra peahen, so I'm not going to do that right now. Thank you, ladies. I think we've had the pigs for three days now. They might have... Uh, I, I can't forget if it's three or four days they they find a truffle. They might be some today, if we're lucky. Or it might be tomorrow. In this episode, though, hopefully. How's it looking? No truffles. Pigs like having a little roll around, don't they? Hide in the hide in that cow. Okay, I'll wait for you to come out, and then we'll give you a little stroke. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'm not convinced the pigs will find truffles inside, but I will see. We'll see. I've I've, I've no idea. Hmm, lots of stuff here. Uh, we'll get the mayo going. And some milks. Should get another one of those going, pretty cool. Okay, I'll have to come back for that stuff. I, I won't have any room left. Uh, so let's go and sell some stuff. Then we'll come back and fill up kegs and and the like. I might have a tea ready to be harvested. Uh, which means I've got a gap here now. Tell you what, as stuff, as stuff grows and gets harvested here, I'm not, I won't replace it. Just kind of, kind of be it. I like the crops that you plant once and then they... They stay there all season. Let this there for now. Um, back to the back to the shed. Should I should check my fruit trees. Been a while since I checked those. Yeah, here we go. We're going to actually pop the pears into a jar, I think. So, we definitely can't do that with cocoa, right? No. Mm. Or in the keg, right? No. It's so weird. Um, take the tea out, though. Get that going. Might have enough space actually to fill up those jars while we're here. I think that's it. And just one in here. And I can get another barley in the beer. I think that's all my barley gone then. Maybe I'll switch to grape juice after that. Which I'll probably save for 
when we get an aging barrel. What was opening at twelve today that I was interested? Was it the was it the shop? What did I want at the shop? Oh, we were going to buy another sapling, weren't we? Seedling. I get those. Uh, I, I, I know the difference between them. It's just, you know, I, <laughs> when I'm talking, I kind of use them interchangeably. But it is a seedling we want to go in the greenhouse. Did I see that the blacksmith's open today? Oh, no, he's closed today. Okay. Uh, so with the lab open, I guess we... I don't... I think we might be on the gold level of upgrades, so I'll go and take a look. There might be another silver one. I can't quite remember how far I got down that. I'll do this, though. Ooh, Tyrannosaurus Claw. Very nice. Uh, oh, there's actually a couple of silvers still left. Silly me. Um, well, I have the gold on me. Uh, so maybe I'll do the animal feed, actually. Oh, it's quite expensive. Okay. It's eaten into my peahen budget, but we do want to get this all stuff to stuff all to gold, so. It's okay. One more sapling. Still no errand. He called me his favourite neighbour. It's quite nice. So, okay, so the seedlings. Maybe the most... Well, the cocoa's expensive, but I don't actually make anything from it. Maybe, like, like the lychee? I can imagine making, like, lychee jam and stuff like that. We'll do another one of those. Actually, run back. I might see some foraging stuff on the way. I reckon they are going to produce coconuts. They're not quite ready yet, though. I like this. It's cool. go. Uh, so that's lychee then, isn't it? And then these two are the same. I think the others are going to be different. It's hard to tell, really. But I'm pretty sure I've got at least one variety of everything. Or one type of, you know, one of every variety. Uh, just wonder if I spend money moving the barn. I mean, yeah. No, I will do that. I will do that. It'll bother me otherwise. Hopefully it won't be too much money. What we want to do, we want to bring this forward a square, so it's level with that. We might as well do this. I'll tell you what. I just don't know if we're going to get two of those into next to each other. We might do. We might do. That's where it is now, so we just want it there. Oh, what happened? Where's the snow gone? <laughs> ah, is it spring? Is it spring already? <laughs> okay, uh... Oh, we've lost the snow. That's weird. Um... Yeah, I'll put some... That's my stone walls. We'll see how we get on just with this stuff I've already made. There we go. 
I don't know if we'll get another barn there. We'll have, might have to put it somewhere else. But hopefully within that paddock. Or at least, you know, reasonably close to it. Um, um, um. So we're going to need more silver kelp essence. I think I've actually got enough uh, for the things I need to make, though. So that should be all right. I put the seaweed in the thing with the bugs because that's what makes the bait. Uh, something to donate. Yeah, something to donate, and a rose hip, which I'll stick in a jar. And I might go and do a bit in the ocean after this and try and clear a bit more of that. Let's go by the museum. Okay, very nice. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be about 2.30 before we get that next thing. Actually, what I could do, I think I might have enough to buy the stamina upgrade in the from the Town Hall merit point thing. Let's go and check it out. Because I think I got a big load of them when it went to Town Rank C. I just haven't uh, sort of been up to check. How about that? Not bad, huh? So I've got 2,290, so let's buy the stamina fruit. Huzzah! Okay. Nom 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 nom. Up to 800 or thereabouts? I don't know, it didn't... Okay, so I do, well, I don't have enough money for these things. I think it's probably worth saving up though. Yeah, I mean, like these are good and all, but you know, I've kind of, I've kind of got scarecrows. Yeah, we'll keep saving our, saving the rest of our pennies for now then. Seven nine five, not bad. I, I can't remember what our stamina was to begin with. Was it three hundred something? I'm sure we've more than doubled it. But we're gonna go and start in the osmium zone, kind of where we left off, so I'm going to go down the, the proper way by the pier. Already we've got something, a couple of somethings. A queen scallop, well we've had the king scallop, now we've got this queen scallop, so that's interesting. To remind ourselves where we are, so I, I guess we'll just clear around this whole loop in the hope of finding the relic for that one of the ones that's up here. You don't put these things in the museum, do you? No. I, I still don't really know if there's value to doing that. If it did a much bigger area, it probably would, but it's really only about the same as swinging this. Oh, I forgot we had one going off up there. We will get there. Actually, I'm going to do... I'm gonna, having said that, I'm going to do one of these. There we go. Have I got my... Di I don't have my diving thing on. Let's, uh, let's put that there. If it goes off that way, it should be mostly clear for it. I guess we'll keep looking over here for the other one. If 
feel like it's hit something else. Has it? Has it finished? Oh, we got this guy still going. Oh, yeah, as far as that, at least. I'm going to keep going here. I think the other one's got caught on something. Um, and this one's probably even going to go this way. Get caught on all this stuff. Sea anemone would get away. <laughs> as far as I know, sea anemones are not mobile. <laughs> racing around all over the place, but that one's going up there. There we go. So, okay, so this one was, yeah, I'm going to kind of go round, round here and see if there's anything kind of behind this bit that might belong to that other one we haven't successfully uh, found as yet. Is there anything around here? I haven't seen anything there yet. I'm just going to go up to the barrier that was on this side and just see if there was anything there. Now oh, there might no longer be a barrier, so I guess I'll start working on this. Which way are you going to go? Down there. Excellent. That's where I wanted it to go. Good. So that one should uh, activate now. I mean, it might come up this way and hit this stuff, I suppose. We'll just keep clearing it for now. There might be some rubbish that's reappeared that it catches on, of course. I should probably check on it in a minute. Let's go check on it. Oh, no, it's coming this way. Now you got stuck up there. Okay.
Damn it. <laughs> Didn't quite get there in time. Ah, still got other stuff as well. should open this up which will lead into this little area oh yeah there's quite a lot there's quite a lot still to do isn't there <laughs> but that should activate now leads down to the cave then. Okay. Cool. Alright, well, I think we'll summon summon the tribes. No, we'll summon the anchor and we'll get out of here. They're going to get that Osmium Kelp. I think there were some to the north as well. this area. Alright, let's pull the anchor down here. Ding ding, going up. Check on our various machines and stuff, then probably go to bed. Uh, let's get the sea things in here first. Things like the anemones. Oh, oh. That's okay. A few more things for that. Let's just sort out the coffers. T T T T T. Beer. Uh, so keg stuff, probably the wines then. Uh, I'll probably get some more taro roots. Do the sweet potatoes go in as well? I think they do. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll do some of those then. I think we need that anyway. Okay, well, we're getting through all the stuff I, I stocked up. Oh, the sea lettuce can uh, can go in a dehydrator. Good. Okay, got some more stuff to sell then. Keep 
keep these going. Get some more of that then. Big face of sea salt. And I'm actually gonna... Let's just keep the rubbish here. And we'll keep it on us, because... I'm constantly topping stuff up, aren't I? Uh, but I think, uh, I think it's safe for us to go to bed. Very good. <clears throat> 13k in, that's not too bad for a winter day. Right, greet boring dog quickly. Is that, when's that festival starting up? Okay, we'll probably have a bit of that in the next episode then. Um, don't know quite what that's going to involve. It's over several days, so maybe it's like <clears throat> special. I mean, you know, if you say Christmas market, I would think of stuff, you know, little stalls and stuff, selling nice seasonal items. Maybe in the town centre, maybe some different activities that you can, maybe some like ice skating or something. Maybe I mean, I'm purely speculating here, uh, but that's kind of what I'm picturing. Now, blacksmith should be open today at 9, that's fine. Uh, let's start off with the animals. I still think I'm going to hold off getting any peahens until I can afford a pair. I think I want a pair. That's the new coop, there's nothing in here. <laughs> Let's make another auto feeder as well when they're ready to move in. Got the wrong one. <laughs> Could be truffle day. If they produce in winter, it should be today, the pigs. Uh, but it doesn't look like it. So maybe that's only in the months when they can go outside. I mean, it would make sense to me if that's the case. I doubt there's many truffles in here to forage for. Um, but I, was, I wasn't sure how it worked. them taken care of. Over to the shed. Oh, I think the mushrooms are ready to pick as well. I think I only got two eggs today, so we'll just put those in there. Uh, large milk. I guess we'll do one of each there, and then one of each of these on the looms. Let's collect the stuff out of here then. Let's collect whatever there are of these to collect. Good. I think that's. I've got as much going there as I can for the time being. Ooh, we've got a honey. What sort of honey have we got? Snowdrop honey. I wonder how much that's going to be worth. I fill up. I can fill up. Oh. 
Hmm. Well, the stuff's coming on nicely. And there's the cotton plants. These tea plants look ready to harvest, actually. Clearly, we've got a seed back. Well, let's go back to the shed and get the tea going, I suppose, in the kegs. Just two plants, was it? Okay, that's fine. Yeah, this is this will be good when it's uh, when it's grown up. I think. Oh, well, how long do the cottons take to last uh, grow? That's eight days, so that'll be winter twenty-three. The snowdrops, eleven days. So that's going to be winter twenty-six, and then the teas I planted. 10 days. So 23, 25 and 26. That's when we should get the harvest of stuff. And it's, as I said, it's not stuff that will stay and keep producing, so it's a one and done uh, situation. Uh, we're still... Uh, we'll walk to the blacksmith. We might find some stuff to forage. And by the time we're there, then we've got loads of, loads of these coffers to open when we are there. Oh, I think these are ready to harvest now. Huzzah! Maybe we'll have a little go around the island and just try and get as many coconuts as we can. They seem to be at different times, so... Some of these aren't ready yet. But some are. Oh, got some Bristler Sprouts. Any of these? Look like it. You know what? I was speculating in an earlier episode whether there are different varieties of palm and palm trees, and and that perhaps they produce at different times of the year. Like you've got these winter ones here, uh, but there are some that aren't even growing any in this season, which makes me think they produce their coconuts in a different season. That would make sense. I mean, you wouldn't have a palm tree producing different varieties of coconuts throughout the year, would you? A little bit distracted by coconuts now. We should go up to the blacksmith and open those coffers. Let's do a little run along the beach. It's been a while since I've done a little beach trip. Collected anything. Oh, fossil. Very nice. I wonder if you can just collect stuff from squares that aren't those. I mean, you can. <laughs> Not very much, and I probably don't want to do too much of it. I think it would get quite boring quite quick for uh, everyone involved. Oh, he's down there today. Playing his little songs. So yeah, so I'm probably not going to do an exhaustive run around the island trying to find the palm trees that are producing coconuts this season, but, you know, I'll try and keep, as we run around, I'll try and keep an eye on the palm trees. And just, uh, you know, try and get try and get them when I can. I like that little snowman there, just taking it easy. Order a fly? Sure, I think it was an olive wing. I think it's one we've caught lots of times in the past. Still no uh, little errands. They're like, boring dad, he can't be relied on. He keeps failing his errands. He's rubbish, unless I've got one. Oh, we should try and find Millie. I've actually, have I still got the legendary kelp on me, or did I put it back in that? I might put it back in the chest. Uh, still haven't got that. I should be growing papayas now in the greenhouse, though. Which is good. Sometimes stuff grows in here. So today is the day I can't get another upgrade going, so we did so yesterday. In here. Oh, can't, see, can't see anything.
Uh, yeah, we should have lots of these. Okay, definitely got that. Definitely got that. Not sure. I think we've had that. Definitely had that. Definitely had that. Not sure. Not sure, actually. I'm not sure about that either. Okay. So a few that I'm not sure at. Worth, worth sure about. Worth going up to the museum anyway and seeing if we can donate them. I'll pop into the lab as well because uh, I so I do have a have a fossil I've just found. Oop, can't get through there. I think that's a new one as well. I'm just, just going to check that. I, yeah, that's for tomorrow. Need to do the hardwood forest as well. I've got at least a couple of things here. Let's see. So earrings, yes. Harpoon, yes. Tail, yes. Two, two, one. Okay, we're getting up there again. Getting up there. Still, still chuntering away. It's, oh, I'm not really. Apart from the seashells, I will sell. I'll sell those as well. Uh, coconuts, sell. Sell the kelp. Oh, flies, stuff there. Some bees for here. Oh, we're full. Maybe full up. I've got anything in here that doesn't really belong here. Maybe the Titan Aram Black Honey. Which I'm kind of keeping... Oh, could the metal boot not go? Okay. Anything else I'm kind of keeping in here? <laughs> really? Now, I don't think those wooden hand fans are particularly worth very much, so let's put that boot in, which I'm not sure about. I'm going to keep the... Just sort that out. I'm going to keep the honey probably for the next year's harvest festival. And I'll sell the fans. Some stuff to put in jars. Put some honey there too. Alright, we'll take a little. Grab the honey, just in case I miss it when I come back, but we'll go up to the hardwood for Oh, we should do these as well. Now, I'm going to get three of these going on shiitake mushrooms now. And we'll make the rest black trumpets for the time being, and then I'll get half... You know, in springtime we'll get a different varieties of mushroom again, I'm sure. Sell these for now. To the hardwood forest. See another raffles here there. Wasn't expecting to see another one of you. I mean the honey that makes is worth a few thousand. Oh we've got a uh, another palm here. I'm just gonna go down here and make sure I didn't miss any. Way. Ah, I was trying to get around the other side of it, didn't work. Oh, bugger. Yeah, that's one of the bird thingy ones I've done many times before.
I think that might be another Atlas moth, which would be good. Because another, I can put that in the museum. It belongs in a museum. Any ginseng? Oh, we got the log. Gonna go and check the the thing I've got by the mine, the bug trap. No, ah, oh, it's not been producing recently. A bit weird. Never mind. Right back to the farm. Well, let's get this raffleseer right in a beehive. It's iridium as well. I reckon that's going to be quite a valuable little honey that makes. More donatable stuff. I'm trying to be organized. Right, so we're going to go back to the lab, we're going to do that fossil, and then we'll go to the museum again and donate definitely the moth, but maybe something from the fossil as well, potentially. I guess we'll see. Gallimimus claw. We've definitely had a Gallimimus something. Whether or not it's a claw, I can't remember. Uh, but let's pop back down to the museum and we'll see. Yeah, we'll do the moth. But we've done the claw previously. So we'll go back to the farm, we'll chuck a couple of things in the sail bin. I'll probably chuck the fossil in as well, to be honest. Um, although, that said, maybe I'll take a bunch of stuff from the artifact chest and go to the giant village and see if I can upgrade some of these enchantments. Because the fossils might be worth quite a bit in that process. So let's... Tell you what, let's... Fill up definitely with the fossils and then sort of precious stones and things, things we haven't done before. I know some of these aren't worth particularly much, so we'll try and do ones that might be a bit better in that respect. As much as I can do. Um, okay, well, we'll go over to the giant village and do that. I can actually teleport there, can't I? So maybe we should just do that. Mm -mm -mm. Hello, which one are you? You. So he's the fire one, isn't he? Sometimes we don't need fire, let nature be. Okay. Uh, but, oh, you need to practice. You on the way. Goodbye. Right. Uh, enchant, enchant, enchant. Well, let's see what we got on the pickaxe. So, can't add an enchantment. Maybe you do that osmium level. But what about? Oh. oh. So if we increase the chance of getting a rare item, maybe. So if I did, that's thirty-five. They're only twenty. That's twenty. 20, 20, okay, these aren't particularly valuable, the fossils. 70, actually, on the Stegosaurus spines, and 50 there. So if we did those, I need 60 from two, which should be doable. Okay, we'll save that for another one. That's only 20. Uh, what was that, 35? That's good. And if we get another 35... Yeah, that green one is 35, isn't it? So, and the boots as well. Okay, so let's upgrade that. 
Wow, 80% chance. That's really good, actually. Um, okay, what about... Uh, maybe on the sides? What have we got here? Um, what was the other one? Mighty hit. Destroy in one hit or chance for no energy. Let's do the no energy drain. <laughs> Although, what are we doing here with that? Uh, decreases charge tool use speed. Okay, what about the hoe? Swift swing. Can't do those. Okay. Uh, maybe I'll raise this, actually. These things are worth 20. Oh, that was worth a bit. Well, that was worth 50, that opal. That's 35. That's 35. And then we just need a cheap one, so like that one. Okay. Try the no energy drain one as well, maybe. worth more than 20. Oh, yeah. Okay, maybe we get a couple of those. So now I need, what, 75 from 2, so I'd need quite a valuable one, then. Oh, yeah, the pterodactyl torso, then. Then I just need a 35. Oh, there we go. Cool. Alright, we could add... Try adding one to the gold hoe on add. Can't add any to these yet. Uh, but it only needs a hundred, so anything with twenty, so I guess we get rid of Ooh. Why have I already got ten in there? I don't know. Uh and then oh, oh that's a good one. Yeah, that'll do. Alright. No energy drain, alright. Um, well, I mean, at the very least, we've we've cleared out some of this stuff, so I think that's pretty good. Yeah. Then, as we upgrade our stuff to Osmium, we should uh, get some more of that as well. Cool. Alright, are you down here? They're just chilling, really, aren't they? feels like there's more to come from the giants as well, like what was going on that made them turn to stone and stuff. I haven't had that go any further yet. Could be linked to town level, could be linked to, you know, the year that year it is. I, I can't really speculate, like it's a year two thing maybe, I don't know. Or a certain time has passed since you did the fire mine, I don't know. Um, yeah. I'm sure we'll find out. Let's put this stuff back in that chest. Good. Uh, let's have a look in the greenhouse. Go and admire it again. Did I, was it today I planted these? Why doesn't it look like they've been watered? Oh, no, it has. Has it all been watered? I guess so. So, I guess it's a different colour this then. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, no, that's been watered, isn't it? Fair enough. And I suppose maybe I'll go back to the Osmium Zone in the ocean. I'm quite keen to, you know, at some point finish that. Sort of move on into other stuff under the ocean, you know, which. Like it, there's a shop in, in the Mer village, there's going to be errands to run for them as well. 
So it'd be quite nice to unlock all of that stuff. There's stuff down here too, but aside from that, I think I'm going to work around sort of in a clockwise direction. It is circular this bit, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And then we should end up, when they're both done, should end up at the cave. Which we've done from the other side, I think, haven't we? Oh, nice fossil. I got the ring on. I have got the ring on. Okay. Ah, there we go. We'll do what we did before. I'm just probably going to clear the area before we worry about uh, clearing a path. Unless I find the other one quickly, in which case maybe we will do that, but at the very least we'll find the next one. Incidental. I'm, I'm kind of just clearing up the rest of this side. It might even be finished there. It looks like it is. Still got a fair bit to go, I suppose. I'd hope to find it quite soon, though. I'm just going to keep going here. I assume it's going to come down here and try and do stuff here. Like the other one went to the top.
straight into the next pile I hadn't cleared. <laughs> it's funny how it does that. Anyway, should be basically clear now. So this, yes, yeah, so there this should be like a little path open up down here. And then, so we've, we've come up there and around there, so I guess we'll be able to go down this way and kind of into this stuff. So we've been at these caves. I do remember this. Uh, although it's got tentacles now. Where did they come from? Can I use this yet? <gasps> what is that? Harlequin shrimp. Oh, that's brand new. A shy shrimp. Uh, just for the museum, that one. Okay, yeah, so this has opened up now. Okay, so we're going down here. Can I, I can probably go through here as well? I don't think I've been... Well, okay, there was obviously a barrier there. At some point, the blocking me. Cool. Okay. Oh, caught on stuff. Okay, so that's blocked off. So we can basically do this little section here. Uh, and then maybe get through that wall. So what we'll do, we'll pop the... Uh, pop the anchor down here. And we'll head back. an awful lot of um, ocean floor critters there, but uh, we've got something new for the museum, so not, not too bad. There it goes. Uh, well, I, unless the lab closes at 8, Gonna be too late. Five, yeah. Seemed unlikely. It's just some coffers and stuff. Put some more trash in these overnight. Uh, check the shed. Probably some stuff to sell. So we've got a couple of kegs free if there's anything to do in there. Uh, I mean, yeah, there will be. Maybe we'll do pumpkins. That's potato juice. What about this one? There we go. That'll do. Oh, and this one's ready. So tell me how much that pickled ginseng is worth. It's...
190, that's not too bad. Wow. Cool. All right. Um, I think we go to bed. Isn't that right, boring dog? Fourteen k. I mean, that's not bad. We're all, you know, we're three hundred and bit off getting two peahens the next episode. So we'll probably sell stuff at the shop, if assuming he's open. Good. All right. Well, I'm going to say thanks very much for watching this episode of Coral Island. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you have, if you could hit the thumbs up button. That's always appreciated, as is leaving a comment. Just let me know what you think about the episode, the game, the series in general. Anything you like, really. It's always just good to hear from you. And if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed to the channel, it would be great if you could do that as well. So thanks very much, and hope to see you next time. Bye for now.